Even though it is a couple of days late, I am doing the third and final part of my Disney Parks packing series. And today's video is going to be a what's in my Disney Parks bag. So this obviously is my Disney Parks bag and I will be going over the contents of that and what I do carry in the parks and um, what I don't. Um, and yeah, so we'll get into that. I do want to say thank you for being patient with me as I get the YouTube channel kind of up and running. Um, we ran into a few snags last week. Um, we had a couple issues with our bank account and some unauthorized purchases that led to a couple of other unexpected things like a package that got delivered to my house from somebody I don't know. So that was a little bit on the creepy side as well. And then we also um, had to deal with the doctor's appointment for my ankle, which is thankfully only just sprained, so there shouldn't be too much um, implication for Disney World and it shouldn't affect our upcoming trip too much. Um, so no wheelchair, no boot, none of that stuff because it is just a sprain. Um, from a fall I took at uh, when I missed a step at a Chinese restaurant a couple of weeks ago um, so that was really really good news but I did have to go to the doctor and get that all squared away this week as well so um, those are just a few of the crazy reasons why this video is three days later than promised so thank you again so much for being patient with me and um, working with me while I get my YouTube schedule all cleaned up so let's talk about the bag shall we this bag is from hot topic and ben just got home so that's what all of the slamming is about and this bag is from hot topic it is not available on their website anymore so i do apologize i think you can still find this bag on poshmark and mercari and some of those secondhand websites it is just a lounge fly backpack it was 35 dollars brand new at hot topic uh, so that is that. It's got the Cinderella Castle right here and then perhaps my favorite detail is right here. It's the little Disney D. If it'll focus. Holy moly. So yes, let's get into it. We'll start with this pocket here on the front. It's just a little pocket and these are my non-essentials. So the first thing that I like to bring in this pocket, and why I say non-essentials is just because these are things that if it got stolen it wouldn't break my heart. So the first thing is gum. This is Tic Tac gum. I found it at the grocery store and the reason I bring gum with me to the Disney parks is because they do not sell gum anywhere on Disney property. So bringing your own is an essential if you are a gum chewer, you need to freshen your breath and you don't want to use mints, you have to bring your own gum because you will not be able to find it in the Disney parks. Next, like any prepared park goer, I do have hand sanitizer. This I just got at Target because it was 99 cents. It's just Purell um, made with plant-based alcohol. I don't know, I, it was 99 cents in the travel aisle. So I figured I would try it. The bottle is a little gimmicky, so we'll see how it goes. But it'll, you know, do its hand sanitizing job. And then lastly, in that pocket, I do have just a 
little tissue thing here just because you never know when tissues will come in handy for the Disney parks. Just stuff that back in there. And then getting into the bigger pocket here, as you can see, um, is in here. I like to put everything in pouches with the exception of two things just because I do like to protect it against water. Florida is known for having rainstorms come out of nowhere. So I do anything that's important I do like to protect or anything that could leak I like to put in a little plastic um, bag as well. So the first thing I have in here are q-tips and you're probably wondering why the heck are you bringing q-tips into the park with you. Well, I do use these if I get schmutz on my camera lens or I need to kind of dust out like the microphone or something on my camera. So I do bring these for camera cleaning purposes. Then I have my iPhone. It is my 10s Max. And it's just in there because you can't go to the parks without your phone. Then I have this little Lily Pulitzer pouch. Uh, I got this on Amazon. I think it came with stickers and a pen and some other like planner stuff. And in here I just keep like first aid essentials. So I have a gold bond chafing stick because a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do when it gets hot in the parks. I have a ton of band-aids in here. I also have a first aid kit with like alcohol wipes and antibacterial or antiseptic um, like cream. And then I also have wet ones because, well, it's the Disney parks and things get messy from time to time or germy, I should say. So I do like to keep that. So this is my giant first aid kit here. And then lastly in this bag right now is my baggie of essentials. So my wallet and my other little essentials pouch. So this pouch here is just a Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Um, I realize this is bougie for the park so really if you're looking to have a pouch you can carry anything. But this is the one I carry. And inside I have a fuel rod because you can still, as far as I know, you can still swap these out in the parks for free. I bought this one last year at the airport and Disney has um, swapping stations all over the parks and the resorts. There is rumor that they might be charging soon. So I mean, but even still $3 for a fresh battery is still pretty awesome. Then I have a um, screen cleaning cloth for my camera and my phone. I have some ibuprofen and I have a mini Tide to go stick because Ellie is not the neatest of eaters and spills all the time. So that is what's in this pouch. And then lastly, I have my wallet and I'm not really going to open this and get into it, but inside here is just my ID, my health insurance card, my DVC card, my annual pass, and then a couple of Disney gift cards are in here. And this is the Louis Vuitton uh, Zippy Coin wallet. And Little Miss Tinkerbell is going in the garbage like a naughty dog. So that's that. So the only things that are not in my bag right now that should be in there are obviously my camera which I am filming on so I can't have that in my bag currently and then um I don't have any lip gloss in here currently that'll be the only makeup that I put in my um in my bag but right now it's currently packed in my other suitcase so once I get down to Orlando I will switch it and put it into here but I don't usually carry much makeup in my park bag because I don't touch up yep that's what you get for going in the garbage there little one everybody say hello um, but yeah, so I don't usually carry much makeup. If I do want to touch up my makeup, it's usually just lip gloss or lipstick. So I will just put one of those in there and then anything else I really will go back to the room to touch up and uh, refresh. Like if we're going out to like a nice dinner or something like that. Um, and then camera is in here and possibly a poncho that might be the only other thing that I would put in here um but a lot of the times I will just buy a poncho at Disney World just because they're 
pretty decent quality and just sometimes forget to buy them ahead of time so yeah so that might be the only other things that go in here that are not currently featured but that's generally what I bring to the parks I like to try to keep it pretty minimal I don't like to carry an overabundance of stuff just because it gets in the way but um yeah let me know down below in the comments what you keep in your park bag or if you think I'm forgetting anything let me know what you think if you liked this video please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell to be notified anytime we upload new videos um, the ears that I am wearing today are actually, uh, I think, Enchanted Ears by Emma. I bought them on Etsy, and um, usually I plug Little Shop of Magic, which you can still get a 20% off from her with my code Little Shop 20 but all the ears I have from her are already packed and ready to go, so I happen to wear these for this video today. I will be taking these to the parks as well, but I am not a brand rep for this shop. And uh, podcast is normal time this week. And yeah, so we're leaving on our trip in just a couple of days now. So we'll look forward to that fun content as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and we will be back with the podcast in a couple days. Bye.